If you want to know which is the best code editor for Python, well, there's a very simple answer to that, and that is there is not a single one. IT professionals, they don't just rely on the tools they are using. It's much more important that you learn how to build and ship quality code and that you familiarize yourself with programming concepts. And a code editor is just a personal preference. An IT professional can use whatever tool works best for the workflow, which will fit best to their personal preferences. And that is what it comes down to. So that's it, you can just now close the video, but of course I also want to show you some of the tools that I was using during my IT career and I try to make a fair comparison. But don't try to see it as a rating, so this is the best code editor, this is the worst and so on. It's just my personal opinion. So try them all out and then finally decide for yourself which is the best code editor for Python for you. Hi everybody, my name is Christian and I make tutorials and content for IT professionals. I also stream a lot on YouTube and Twitch where I do some live coding or hacking sessions. So if you want to learn programming together with me, especially Python, you can just have a look at my Twitch live stream. It's always a lot of fun. So let's start with my personal favorite code editors I've used for Python programming and we will start with the first one and that is a very special one because this is not a code editor that you can install on your PC. That is a code editor that completely runs on the web and that is very useful for some reasons. The website I like to use is called Replit. And this is not just a web-based code editor. This is more like a social platform where you can code, create and learn together. You can create projects in so-called Replits and you can work with multiple people together on a single project. You can also use other interesting features like a live chat where you can get help from other people. And it's also pretty cool because it has a lot of built-in integrations, for example the GitHub integration where you can manage version control features and so on. You can also not just build Python code but any kind of application, web-based app or game pretty easily without setting up anything on your computer. So that's extremely useful especially for beginners because you can just sign in and start programming. So let me show how you can easily set up your own project in Replit. Once you have signed up to Replit and you see your dashboard, you can just click on new Replit. Then you simply just give it a project name and select your programming language you want to use. So let's create a test environment. You can also select if this should be a public or private repository. But note for private repositories, you need to use a paid plan that is called the hacker plan. So that costs a few dollars per month. So once our project has been created, we can just start programming and Let's just print some hello world on the display. We can also run the program and you can see we also have a console and a shell where we can control the output of our program here. When you create a web application, by the way, you would also see a small web browser here that is presenting you the web UI of your application as well. So you can see web code editors like Replit are more kind of a social thing. They are more kind of a learning platform where you can connect with other programmers, where you can show off your projects. But of course you can also run some private repositories that are not shared. Of course you need to pay for that, but here is a special. If you want to try the hacker plan out for 90 days completely for free without any credit card registration, you can use the promo code the Digital Life, or you can just click in the video description below. When you sign up with this code you can get 90 days is completely for free for the hacker plan so just try it out. The next code editor is PyCharm and this is by far one of the most popular code editors for Python and that for a good reason. So this IDE is based on the JetBrains IDE which you can also get in other programming languages and it comes with a full package that will install the code editor easily and set up your Python runtime environment on your local computer as well. So that's very useful especially for beginners because you don't need to download and install Python runtimes manually and you don't want to mess around with virtual environments and so on. It's pretty straightforward to set this up through the wizard but this code editor also has a lot of professional features for example for code debugging you can also install extensions and of course other things like IntelliSense and so on so that makes PyCharm extremely powerful and a really good choice for both professional and beginner programmers so I think PyCharm is pretty easy and it's straightforward for beginners especially because it comes out of the box. You don't need to install any extensions or plugins to run and uh, develop Python code with that. 
But to be honest with you, it wouldn't be my personal first choice for a code editor because I just don't like any IDE from JetBrains, but it's just my personal opinion. I mean, you can of course disagree. And I know many people are using PyCharm and they are liking it. But for me personally, this is not the right code editor. The next code editor is Visual Studio Code, also called VS Code, and this is my favorite code editor. It's very lightweight and highly customizable. It also has a marketplace to easily search and install custom extensions. And one thing that I absolutely love is that you can easily integrate that with other Microsoft open source tools like Docker Desktop or the Windows subsystem for Linux, which I often use. So if you install the right extensions for Python, you can easily build professional applications with that. And I think the debugging feature is also very nice and then probably a bit more intuitive than in PyCharm. However, it's probably not so straightforward like PyCharm in terms of installation and configuration of your Python runtime environment because you either need to download and install that on your Windows operating system to run Python applications or if you're using Windows subsystem for Linux, you need to install the Python runtime environment there before you can actually run and debug programs with VS Code. So as you probably have heard, VS Code is definitely my favorite code editor for a variety of different programming languages. I've also seen many, many professional developers are using VS Code in company environments and so on. And I know a lot of people that are using that on a professional day-to-day -day base. I think this is because it can easily run on any operating system and you can extend this with many plugins to add syntax highlighting for other programming languages or you can add plugins to easily integrate this in WSL2 or with Docker desktop and so on that so that's pretty useful and by the way please leave me a comment if you like vs code and if you want to see my personal favorite extensions for that i could easily make a video about this and if you like this video if this helps you then please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more tutorials and content for it professionals the last code editor I want to show you is Vim or NeoVim, and this is an extended version of the VI text editor that was originally developed for Unix. But it also can be installed on every other operating system like Windows, Mac and of course Linux. It's designed to run completely in a shell, which makes it extremely powerful for Linux because you don't rely on a graphical user interface and a lot of administration work on Linux is actually done in the terminal. You may wonder now why I mention this as a code editor because it's obviously just a shell based text editor out of the box. But the open source community has built a huge collection of modular based script extensions for Vim so that you can turn this actually in a fully featured code editor that also offers you nearly the same features like PyCharm or VS Code. But it's not very straightforward to set it up. You need to put a lot of time and effort into finding and installing the right extensions, configuring your VIRC file and so on. And even some of the basic commands on Vim would require a separate video for that. However, I wanted to mention this as a code editor because I know many people are using that for professional software development and it's pretty interesting and impressive what you can make out of it. So Vim is a very special thing and I know a lot of Linux guys are actually loving Vim or Emacs and I also like Vim because I often use it on servers but for me personally it doesn't work to extend Vim with custom plugins because I usually use that to troubleshoot on customer servers or on other systems where I cannot install any Vim plugins and therefore I use it right out of the box. And to be fair Vim is out of the box not competitive with other programming editors like VS Code or PyCharm because it doesn't really offer those features out of the box you need to customize that you need to extend this with plugins but you need to invest a lot of effort and time into customizing this and therefore it doesn't work for me and it doesn't fit for me perfectly like vs code but for any advanced linux users if you like to program the hardware if you like to customize everything and make it fit perfectly to your workflow and if you want to extend and accelerate your productivity, you should have a look at Vim, but it's up to you. So please tell me in the comments, what do you think is the best code editor for Python for you? As I said in the beginning, it doesn't really matter. It's completely unimportant which code editor you're using, but I think it's interesting to discuss about that. I think it's interesting to make a fair comparison between those different code editors to help other people get started with programming, because in the end, you just need to use something, yeah? And you just need to get started with a code editor that works best and that is beginner friendly. So I hope I could help you to answer the question for you with this short video and if you enjoyed that please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials for IT professionals. And if you have any questions, if you want to discuss that, please do it in the comments or just join our Discord community. We have a very great and respectful 
and friendly Discord community. So a big shout out to all of my Discord server. You are just awesome guys. So before I go, I also want to give a quick shout out to my supporters on Patreon, especially Mason, who is the producer of this show. And if you enjoy that, if you want to support my mission to help as many people as possible to jump in the field of IT and become IT professionals, then just support me on Patreon. So thanks everybody for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care of yourself and I see you soon. So what we're doing is we are first splitting the sentence into a list of words and then we are sorting it uh, with the sort algorithm that will extract the number of the word uh, via the regex that returns this. And then we're using the join method to um, to create a string of these uh, sorted words. So that is how we're doing that.